Hey guys, welcome back. I am so sorry that I have not been posting lately. It's just that every time I've wanted to post, there has always been some crazy construction noises in this area. As you might hear right now in the background, um, but I really wanted to get a video out for you because I know I haven't talked to you guys in a while. So um, if you do hear it, uh, do try to <laughs> ignore it. Um, but, uh, oh, I do want to address, thank you so much, you guys have um, subscribed to my channel and now I'm over 3,000 subscribers, that's amazing. So thank you so much. Um, it was like over the weekend uh, while I was away in San Juan that that just happened and that was a really nice surprise to wake up to. So thank you, thank you for that, um, for supporting my channel. So. Today, I am doing a quick video of what I'm taking to the beach with me. I've been doing a lot more beach going um, since I am not too far from one. And I felt like just bringing my journal and this time maybe doing some watercoloring or some art, just whatever nature inspires me to do while I'm there. So, I wanted to kind of go over what I am bringing with me. I, as you can see, I am going back to my traveler's notebook. I will be doing an updated setup because I did change things around with that. So I am definitely bringing that with me. I have a little leather pen case, which I will be carrying this Liberty Rollerball pen in. It's a rather heavy one, so it's one that I, it's, it's a really nice one, so I don't want to, um, get it scratched up so that's why it kind of lives in that little pen case there and because I'm doing watercolors I thought I'd bring my Jane Davenport one this is all the neutral colors which is the palette that I really wanted to get so I can really use those colors I use neutral colors more than I do bright colors so uh, maybe one day I'll get the bright colored one and I also have a very old Hello Kitty case that I've had since I was a kid. And in here I just have a polymer eraser that I cut down, a sharpener, an extra pen brush or paint brush, water brush, whatever you call that, and all my um, Inktense pencils because I thought, well, if I don't want to use my palettes, I can always use my Inktense ones for like more precision coloring. So that all lives in here. I will be carrying my little um, water pot, which is really handy because you can actually clip it onto something. And I will be clipping that onto my clipboard, which I find really handy for just taking to the park or something. And then I've got cut down pieces of watercolor paper, um, some watercolor postcards here, and then just one large sheet. I don't plan on using all of it but I'd like to have just varying sizes as options. I always have one piece where I like to just test out the colors that I've mixed um, before I put them down on paper. So this will just kind of clip off to the side and be really handy that way. And then most of my essentials will be living in this little Superior Labor pen roll. So what I've got here, my reusable re utensils that I always keep in here and I do use. Crappy pen in case somebody wants to ask for <laughs> using a pen. I don't know why they would at, at a beach, but it just kind of lives in here. I've got my two fountain pens that I love to use, my Midori Traveler's Notebook Pencil. This is a Faber-Castell bold pen tip, so it's not a marker uh, or brush tip, but it's just a regular like bold tip um, for like drawing a Muji red pen, a retractable eraser. I find these really handy so I love having one of those. Midliner is just one of my favorite colors. I like to use it for shadowing or something. And I've got two watercolor brushes, just a round brush and then a flathead um, to kind of just do washes of water. My, what is this, a Jane Davenport water brush a scale just to use as like a flat edge if I need to, a couple pencils. I've got a 5B Stadler and um, what's remaining of this Palomino Blackwing pencil. 
I did slip a couple washi tape cards back here, so if I wanted to, I can decorate my journal in there. Um, just a pair of scissors, a glue stick, and my Uber Mini watercolor palette that I made out of a, an eyeshadow kit that I didn't really use. Ooh, yeah, you can hear all that construction out there. So that fits perfectly in here. I don't have to worry about like my brushes getting too bent out of shape. And there we have it. That's what I'm bringing to the beach with me. Just wanted to get on here quick to show you. And I hope you guys are enjoying your summer weather. If you're, I guess, on the northern part of the equator, I guess if you're on the bottom, um, if I do have viewers there, you guys are probably experiencing uh, fall, winter. So I hope you're doing well and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye.